What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel and to a new video. Today we are gonna talk about this brand new NVMe SSD drive from Sabrent. It's one terabyte and uh, we're gonna compare it uh, to my actual current uh, SSD which is a Kingston A1000. So let's try to open this up. As you can see, the packaging is very small. And, um, one of the smallest ever seen. I guess there is more or less nothing inside apart from the drive. And that's it. Very minimal. Just a small user guide and here it is. So why I chose this brand? This was almost unknown to me. It appears to be an American brand, recently known for top performance drive with uh, an affordable price. So this one is currently having a real life performance of uh, a Samsung 970 Evo Plus, which is uh, absolutely the best nowadays. Uh, it has more or less the same write speed, a bit less lower read, uh, low read speeds. So we are gonna anyway compare it to the Kingston as I said. Again, it's one terabyte. My current Kingston is uh, 480. Then I have other three drives, uh, four terabyte each, but I use the SSD mainly for starting up the OS and using most of the programs with it, while games and everything else is on the usual hard drives, let's say. So this one supports, uh, yeah, M2 form factor, the usual one that you can see supported by all uh, current motherboards. Uh, my motherboard currently has two slots, we will see later how I'm gonna install this. Then uh, it has uh, it's PCI Express 3.1 compliant and NVMe 1.3 compliant. Uh, it has power management support for APSD and ASPM L1.2, supports SMAR and Trim commands obviously and uh, it has bad block management and over provision its uh, maximum uh, sequential read speed is uh, 3400 megabytes per second while uh, for the sequential write speed it's uh, 3000 and uh, random 4k iops read is uh, 650k while uh, the write speed is 640k the power for read and write is 6.6 .6 and 5.3 respectively and the power supply is 3.3 volts um, form factor is 2280 m2 as we said and the operating temperature goes from 0 to 70 degrees celsius and uh, yeah mtbf is uh, 1,800,000 so nothing more to say as you can see yeah nothing special here usual m2 form factor there is no at sync but i have it included in my motherboard so no worries about that so give me a few minutes and i'm gonna install this in the computer and we can compare the performances see you later so here i'm back with the driver just installed as you can see it's on the lower section of my motherboard while on the first one where the f sync is is basically the main driver currently the kingston still m2 and bme so the operation is really very simple just one screw and it takes more or less 20 or 30 seconds very quick and the uh, drive is already booted now in uh, Windows 10 
So I will uh, run a couple of benchmarks just to do a quick comparison and then I will have to clone my first drive into this one should be pretty easy I know there is a self software available on the Sabrent uh, website because the operation is not as easy as for the other drives but uh, yeah let's give the try and see if we could experience any issues on that so stay tuned give me a couple of minutes and I will show you the results two hours later so as promised I ran some benchmarks for you guys just to compare this new drive with my old let's say Kingston drive I remind you that uh, also the Kingston drive is an M2 NVMe drive so performances uh, should be pretty comparable and uh, I have to say that I was pretty impressed when I saw these benchmarks on the left hand side you can see the screens uh, the Kingston uh, results while on the right side you can see the Sabrin drive and uh, we can see very easily that we have twice or even triple the performances in, especially in the right speed and uh, if you think about comparing these with uh, an ordinary SSD drive so the serial eta ones for example obviously the gap of performances will be even bigger right so this is really an amazing result so yeah i hope um, this helped uh, everybody or at least everyone that wants to purchase a new uh, m2 drive or is already looking to this saber drive and um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below i will uh, also attach a link to the Amazon website where I purchased this uh, drive it's uh, currently more or less 100 euros and I will also try now to clone this drive and see if there are any issues with that so please subscribe if you like this uh, video thumbs up and uh, see you in the next uh, review